And so many of us, our approach to um, discovering the imposter syndrome or finding out I have this passenger on the bus who doesn't think I'm good enough or whatever the story might be, our reaction is we want to get rid of it, right? We want to cut it off, get rid of it. And where I, the approach that I take and what I teach is we're actually not trying to get rid of it. We're trying to integrate it. We're trying to, we want to create a new relationship with these parts of ourselves. focus on discernment and sometimes having good mentorship or a teacher or um, someone who you can turn to who can give you healthy appropriate feedback because you're right that that piece of qualification it has two parts it has the actual technical learning and knowledge acquiring it then and then it also has experience Right, those two come together. Mm-hmm. And, and so there are going to be times where I have imposter syndrome because I did just get out of school or I just finished my training, but I haven't been working with enough clients yet to really hone in and embody my, my internal wisdom, right? The difference between knowing and having wisdom. Mm-hmm. And we get that from experience. And so sometimes we have the experience we have the training, we have the knowledge, and we're still not feeling good enough. And so it can be helpful to have someone who knows us, who can look at us, who we can speak to honestly, who can say, you know, I think you just need to get out there and practice more. Or I think this is a deeper uh, healing that is being asked for you to explore within yourself. (laughs) 